Hi everyone, I'm Kent Louie, science teacher and talking head, talking about science education and broadcasting from beautiful Vancouver, Canada. This is episode 94 and today I want to talk about science content and the concerns that we're not assessing and giving feedback on content accurately if we're using standards-based grading. And I want to show a test I created that demonstrates how we can do both. You know, assess content and skills, competencies, at the same time accurately. All right, handouts for this episode are available at realsciencechallenge.com slash EP94. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, at a recent workshop I led, a teacher kept on raising concerns that students wouldn't know what science content they were weak in if we used standards-based grading and only assessed science skills. So for example, let's say Billy is weak in his knowledge of cells and organelles. And on a traditional multiple choice, true or false test like this one, short answer test like this one, he may only score 50% on a, on a quiz like this. All right, so this teacher argues that if all we did was assess skills like analyzing and interpreting data or engaging in argument using evidence or applying knowledge to new contexts, then Billy would never know that he's weak in the knowledge of cells and organelles. Now, this might be a concern if, and this is a big if, if all the skills like analyzing data, engaging in argument, you know, applying knowledge to new contexts. If all those skills were done in the absence of all content and context, then yes, this would be a concern. But the truth is, content is used to form the problems that assesses the skill. And the truth is, if you don't know the content, you can't demonstrate the skill effectively. So the concern that students won't know what content knowledge they're weak at when using SPG is false. Because if you don't know the content, you can't demonstrate the skill effectively. All right? Our job is to create assessments, like good test questions, that use the content to assess the skill. All right? So here's a sample of the same test, a test on cells and organelles that I've developed and now use in my class. I have a section here on this test that tests their ability to process and analyze information. Information like graphs and models while using science content knowledge. I have four questions on this test of increasing difficulty, and this is to help me determine if a student is emerging or developing, proficient or extending. Now, as you can see, the first few questions are the basic questions that a student should be able to, do, to answer if they're paying attention to my class. Here's the model of the cell, and you know, there are letters pointing to different organelles, and the student has to identify, for example, which, um, which organelle provides energy to the cell. Use the following letter. Now, if the student doesn't know what a mitochondria does and what it looks like, then they wouldn't be able to answer this question. Right? On the bottom, it asks, um, is this a plant cell or animal cell? And explain why. Is this eukaryotic or prokaryotic? Please explain why. If you don't know, what a prokaryote is, or eukaryote, eukaryote, excuse me, is. If a student doesn't know what a plant cell is and an animal cell is, uh, cell is excuse me, can't talk today, uh, they wouldn't be able to answer those following questions. So without content knowledge, a student isn't able to effectively analyze a model, which is one science skill we all teach. So going forward, if you're trying to to use standards-based grading, then what you should try to do is modify your tests so that they align with assessing skills and content at the same time. So I suggest going over your old tests and classifying some of the questions based on skills, okay? Now, if the question doesn't fit into a category, then modify the question until it does, or toss the question and create a new one, all right? So this exercise can help streamline your tests by taking out like repeat questions or questions that just don't work to bring out the skill. That's it for this episode. Please smash the like or subscribe button or leave a comment below and hand us once again our realsciencechallenge.com slash EP94. Thanks for watching. Let's talk science education again soon.